I believe in the checks and balances of American government. I believe they worked on January 6th. So if you're asking me, do I think that Trump has bad intent or could have bad intent with that sort of stuff? Sure. Do I believe that the guardrails held and will continue to hold? Also, sure. So you, so if somebody was running and they blatantly said, like, I, um, I don't want to use the fascist word, but if they said, like, I want to be an authoritarian, I'm going to abolish all elections, you would say, sure, he's saying that, but like, I don't think he can actually do it. So it's okay if he runs for president. You don't care at all as long as you feel like the guardrails. I mean, are I might prefer other candidates, but I think that also one of the things that you do is that politicians, again, this would be an exceptional circumstance, but mm -hmm. politicians constantly make promises about the things that they are going to do and then don't fulfill. And we tend to take those out in the wash, meaning that, you know, the if I promise that day one, as Donald Trump has pledged to do, that he's going to deport literally every illegal immigrant in the country, do I think he's actually going to do that? I mean, I, I really highly doubt it. He didn't do it last time he was in office. Mm -hmm. That's just, there are many examples of this. Do I agree. I, do, I, do, do I think, here's my question. Do you think the guardrails are going to fail to hold? I'm not sure. Uh, really? Yeah, because I think the issue is, is one, um, when it's election time, Republicans are spineless in office. Um, and I don't know how many congressmen would support what he wants just because they want to win re-election or because they think it's inevitable anyway. Well, I mean, I think that one of the one of the things that happened in 2022 is Democrats ran directly on this platform and a bunch of Republicans lost were running on this platform. Literally every secretary of state ran on the Donald Trump, we should deny elections platform lost in every state. Sure, but other Republicans that have been- office is this. Sure, but I mean, like, look at what happened with, like, uh, Kinzinger, Kinzinger and Cheney, right, who had, were very, like, staunchly anti-Trump uh, after J6 uh, for that select committee, right? Kinzinger uh, didn't even run again, and Cheney lost her election by, I think, the widest margin that anybody has ever lost an election ever. Right, yeah, yeah. Like, all of U.S. <laughs> politics. People who were not um, yet born voted against Yeah, it, yes. I guess it's just, it's a surprising position to me for, if we're looking at, like, principled stances of government, the idea that a man who has, and I think we- both agree on this, that Donald Trump's, Donald Trump's only allegiance is to Donald Trump, right? We agree on that. The only thing he cares about is Donald Trump. I don't think it's the only thing he cares about. I think it's certainly the largest thing he it's cares about. It's the largest thing he cares about, right? Sure. So you've got a man who only cares about himself. Welcome to politics. I mean, it's, it may be more, but that's it, may not be, even, it, it may be more with Trump, but it's certainly not unique to Trump. I think that the issue with Trump too, though, is um, I think he's even a threat to the Republican Party, in which I think, I think you would mostly agree with me, maybe not overall, but on every individual point, Trump picks bad candidates. He has no concern for the future of the Republican Party. Like, for instance, I think there is a chance, I don't think it'll happen because of how the polling looks now, but if Trump didn't get the nomination, I think Trump would say, screw it and run as an independent because he thinks he can win or whatever, right? Um, I, 